we should probably talk about Daytona. coming up on us. Welcome back to the channel. If you uh, haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell. I got a list. This is kind of, uh, you know, what to do, what not to do, Daytona. Uh, Daytona can be a really great place, lots of great people. Um, and if you uh, book hotels and stuff early enough, you should be able to uh, find something affordable. But let's just go through this list. You know, I just uh, booked something, um, I think it was yesterday. It was still pretty affordable right now. Uh, we're still maybe six weeks away. And I uh, still found some great, great deals on, uh, on hotels. I don't stay at campgrounds, not very much anyway. Mrs. Geezer's uh, idea of camping is a three-star hotel, not a four. So I, I did uh, book something up north near Flagler Beach, which is nice up there. I usually stay at the Hilton. The Hilton is... is uh, Probably the most secure place, but you can also reach Main Street by just walking there. So if you can afford the Hilton, I think the prices haven't gone through the roof yet. That would be the thing to do. The one right there on the beach, and you can just walk to everything. What you need to do is stay clear of South Daytona and those beaches down there. Most of the crime that happens in Daytona happens on those motels south uh, on the beach. They're just uh, crime-ridden, drug-ridden, uh, prostitution-ridden, and unless that's your thing, I would, I would stay away from there. You know, Daytona is also the place to get your bike stolen. And if you've got a touring... I think later than 2014, uh, I would change that passcode and that security key. You know, most people that uh, get up there and get their bikes stolen, those touring bikes, are because they haven't changed the factory code. Uh, there's a famous YouTuber who uh, was up there, uh, and they were doing some filming, and the second day they got their bike stolen. I'm not saying they didn't change the passcode, but that's the way most of them uh, get stolen. You know, most guys, they just take the security code from the factory. They just never change it. They never think that someone's going to steal their bike. But these guys who are stealing bikes know that most people do not change them. So they get on there, put in the factory code, and bang, they just drive off like, like nothing. You know, everyone thinks it's their bike because they just started it. You know, there's lots of great people, but... There's a lot of newbie riders. Uh, there's a lot of just drunk assholes everywhere. You have to be really careful. The, uh, riding up there is dangerous. It's, um, the newbie riders don't know what they're doing. And the drunk assholes just want to annoy you or get into fights. Um, I actually had to uh, hit the throttle pretty hard to get away from a guy who was just dancing on his bike. He just... Kept getting close, um, kept trying to run into me. Uh, it was a good thing I had my 114 because I just hit the gas and I just pulled away and left him in the dust. But he was truly out of his mind, drunk. Uh, he wanted to get into some altercation. And there's lots of them up there, especially as you get closer to the evening uh, in Daytona uh, and at night, night too. Although I don't ride at night. Uh, I've walked around Main Street at night, but night is owned by the uh, crotch rockets and the sport bikes they just crowd the streets in there so I would definitely just have your eyes open um, I always bring protection and some of you guys want to bring both kinds it's just a, a, just a good idea up there 
Also, traffic is going to be horrible. There's just no way around that. Um, if you're going to Bruce Rossmeyer's uh, destination, Daytona, that's where a lot of the, uh, the manufacturers are. Um, I go there because my favorite manufacturers are there and uh, Serial 3D is there and I've gotten to know them pretty well. So I'll get my bike worked on uh, up there, but I go at like 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't, I don't bother going, you know, afternoon. You cannot get in there. There's no easy in, easy out down there. So plan on going early and plan on, you know, it's going to take you a while to, to get out of there. Um, if you've seen my uh, other videos, it doesn't matter if it's Biketoberfest. It's even worse, uh, Daytona Bike Week, but it's a, it's a nightmare getting uh, in and out of there. Also, if you have a chance to go to the Speedway, you should do it. Uh, Speedway has some great manufacturers there, too. Um, it's not horrible to get in and out of the Speedway. Uh, doesn't matter if it's Bike Week or Biketoberfest. It's, it's usually pretty easy, and yeah, they have some interesting things there. Um, let's see what else I got. Bring cash. Um, cash is always easier, uh, easier for the vendors. You're probably not going to get charged tax in a lot of places if you bring cash. If you want pictures of the girls, want video of the girls, uh, please pay them well, tip them well. They don't really get paid to do that. They live on tips, and they're always very appreciative of uh, guys giving them big tips. Uh, the pictures really sh shouldn't be free, sneaking up and taking pictures. Tip them really well, and they'll, they'll really appreciate it. And I think uh, just being careful and uh, knowing what you're doing. Um, keep your head on a swivel. Watch out for just newbie riders and uh, there's going to be a lot of people who are there for the first time have no idea how to deal with the traffic. Um, you should just be uh, just be aware. Uh, you probably want to stay off of uh, I-4 if you're coming down from uh, or going up from where I am. Uh, try to avoid I-4 at certain hours of the day. It's a, it's a death trap. 95 is not as bad. Uh, I-4 I-4 is is just known for. Uh, traffic fatalities so anyway try to have a good time hope I didn't uh, scare anybody off but uh, I always go up there and I know what I want to do and a couple things this year like the uh, there's a new antique uh, bike show that I'm, I'm gonna see and I might even do the burning bike I'm going to uh, go the first weekend but I think I'm gonna go also the second weekend it's not that far for me it's three hours or something so I think I might want to see that burning bike thing. I've not, I've not done that yet. So anyway, have a good time. And uh, these are just some tips. And uh, take it with a grain of salt. But uh, I've been there a few times. And those are just the things I've experienced.